Good evening, America. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Allow me to move this. Welcome to Grace Walking Ministries. I am Pastor Zborjo Karabaha. Grace undefined. I'm very shaken. Waters, <laughs> or whoever, your interview with Portland State <laughs> student is reflective of poor home training and worse education, higher learning. They were asked if they would donate funds for Hamas to blow up <coughs> God's chosen people. I'm losing weed. Oh, excuse the background noise. It's the peanut section. It's the balls of Westport, Washington. Surprise. These nice, educated white children gave donations for Hamas to bomb schools, restaurants, gathering meetings of God's chosen Jews. I was stunned. I mean, it's quite apparent that our millennial children lack clarity of home training, where their mothers are not deep, deep patriots, but more like a Becky Daniels or a William Wideman. It's a What happened to these women whose children grew up to be <laughs> the walking higher learning, incapable of grasping the harm of Hamas? Audacity? Portland State University. <laughs> Incredible. Y'all are like these corporations who hire this shit to run their business of horror. How many times? Oh, there was this one woman, an old crow walking the production of specialty crab at Washington Crab Producers. Her son had just committed, had just died of crystal meth. But the bitch was so lost in sin as I, I said, may I touch you? And I walked her sorrow. But the whole a specialty crab of Washington crab producers was running a kite. She asked me three or four times, will you be here today? Because her white trash friends wanted to walk their home training. And yet my husband continues to hear it is my fault. Well, I wish to say something, America. It's not my fault. There on Dark Street, I witnessed a black woman of no caliber, much less value. Seven little bastards she had. Aberdeen, her mother, is milking 
EBT as she not only supports her convict, she chases after married men and she provides cuts for the straight truck drivers, the white ones who have wives who have walked that bow of audacity as long as I have. I have witnessed halls of Westport come in high as the kite brought in by Marcus T, a Mexican, who violated OSHA laws as city inspectors of Westport, Washington stood by and a safety inspector, a pig named Lee. Yet I am blamed for what? Surprise, I'm incarcerated. Incarcerated by Lucifer's warriors. <laughs> I cannot walk outside this door without these nasty white trash sons of bitches thinking they have a right to smile. I am not horrible. I was not born in Washington. God placed me here. I mean, right across from Dark Street next to the Bardello Holiday Motel is a blue building. A little Mexican hole stood out waiting for all as William Wideman said it's not true as he terrorized me he has children what what will those children reflect at the scrotum of Lucifer William Wideman plant manager Surprise. A lot of wrong. And you know, it's true on Hannity. That psychiatrist is true. You never told your children, your daughters, what a whore and abomination Clinton was, is. You never did. Because, baby girl, you're the same way. you the Ocean Shores mother with her four teenage boys. You are the audacity in OK, we Christian. Well, baby, calling yourself Christian does not make you so. Surprise. I'd go nowhere. I am in prison because the testicle of Lucifer, which is this community of sin, can't let God alone. It bothers you to mock your intrigue. You smile your stupid smile. I remember a boy here shaking my hand. I know your soul all the way to hell and back. What ego feeds, feeds you the right to think you can even address me? incarcerated because a community cannot control their hate.
it is what it is. You people don't know, remember the Hillary. Shit, at least I gave Orwell's horse opportunities to start businesses. Hillary wanted to kill him. La Carmen, I even asked, you know, to bless her. The whole of Reverend Samuel Rodriguez. You articulation is I your meal, puppy. If I could have only attended my achievement. But your rhetoric puto doesn't reach the reality. From Hood Los Angeles, oh shit, from Texas. To puta hijas. Mi hermana ya no me a Los Angeles. Ay, nigga, mira lo que me hace. Your people, Samuel. Reverend. Rodriguez. Your rhetoric is bullshit. And we want all of y'all gone. You call us racist because we're tired of the Carmen's. That little Mexican that works the free we're tired of them. As you tell Orwell, what? Your fucking Mexicans threaten me. Naughty one pine, you threaten me. Cops, you terrorized me. You bunch of shit. And then the Westport shipping yard, I don't mail. You're known as elitist. I haven't decided where I'm going to take the picture. But I make sure that it, your place is right under the scrotum of Lucifer. Wash Westport shipping yards. Before you claim God, define your ego. Before you define your right to touch or address me. You pray. You pray and you ask God to teach you to pray. That you may understand that what you want to touch or address is beyond your fault. You're like St. Paul's a Bordella of Westport. Suffice, I must make a decision tomorrow. The only place I can go to get, and that's because they take everyone. That's what that bull dagger. Elizabeth Pinkering, a doctor, a Hitler, a Tim Jensen, CEO of Grey Harbor. I must act quickly. I need it, and of course, it's going to take a week for the elitist oath to murder to decide. That is attempted murder. That is treason. I will show you the insulin pins given to me by George Joan, the testicle of Lucifer, a branch in decay. A twin harbor drugs. I am taking too much. I'm not taking too much insulin. I'm taking good insulin. 
I take 80 units of lantus a day. The other is 12 to 18 units of Humalog three times a day. Allow me to get that for you. Um, Oral is dealing with a lot of demons. And I won't let up on him. I will not. Your history reflects a man who cannot change. I fight. I fight in prayer, in thought, in action to clean my credit. And then that bullshit. Gomers. Uh, how can I write a letter? Say challenging something that I know is my bill. Leave it to the goddamn negros and the white trash. I want to challenge nothing that is mine. I want to pay it. Then I want to go on from there. Then you're telling me it's going to take seven years if I don't cheat? It's going to take seven years to get this shit off my credit? Medical bills? From Cedars, who gave me MRSA? No, I want to do this right. I want to. It's like with the thing with the inspection for Henry in Los Angeles. The Mexican said, "You give me two hundred dollars, and we pass it for you." Or we'll come home and say, we give him $200, we have our, our, our sticker. I said, you know something, you give him $200. Y cabrón, you're going to have a bushy tail. Months we tried to get someone to repair the truck. Months, 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 months. Finally, we paid close to $400 for a leak. And again, the Koreans, all those fucking Koreans of uh, Paramount, our truck was not up to their standard. We didn't have an Aberdeen Honda or a five star where they give to Mexicans. Glory be. So, boss, I refused. I refused. I refused. And then. The cops, again, India. God dang, Bobby was a Muslim. Cop. Who owns two service stations on Alondra and Paramount. This is the shit you let into our country. Then you give them businesses and then you make them cops. How Muslim. They gave me a ticket like these bogus sons of bitches gave me a ticket up here. And still, I'd rather pay 400, 600 to fix the contract and let it pass. And it passed. And we passed. And then I went to court in, Com in Compton. Or the Culver City. I went to court. Kiss my nigga ass. Justice. Liberty. Equality. Instead it is vanity. It's egos. In government. To god dang those that are kissing our concrete. It's audacity. Egos that believe they have a right. Not only to intrude, to bring in their home training. God dang it, the naughty one pond. God dang it, they're in the bar on the stool next to the hall. Yet they gotta come out and tell me what they wanna do to me. Ain't that something? I'm 64. So, boss, it's, it's bullshit. 
It's all bullshit. Anyway. I don't know why it takes so much to clean an area. It don't... It, it, I don't understand all the bullshit. Wonderful should not be over there at the DAP. Remember the DAP didn't want him. The DAP was playing matchmaker. Savas, life goes on. Oh, I must get out. I feel in tune. And it's all because of the fucking lights. I would like to bring the truck back after lunch. He can walk and shit. He's got interest from the totem pole. God dang it, I can't believe these police. Well, they let horse walk here. And they know this. The cops knows what it walks in their small community. They know. If I could go to the harbor, let me have run. Chinga, I take up Walter Sonner to go to the park and God dang it, every piece of trash this side of the Mason Dixon line will come out. What kind of shit is that? Don't you have enough incest in your family? Anyway. Um. I try. I need to go. What is it? Annualcreditreport.com. I need to have the entire report. They said credit karma is bullshit. Uh, either way, I start paying off the bills. I gotta find out about Capital One online banking. Uh, I need to get a better phone. But I don't want to be dependent on a Korean or a fucking white supremacist co community like Westport whether I get internet or not. And it burns the hell out of me. To have to pay one more month here. But by then I get more stuff done. Uh, on the weekend, Orville and I are going to go to Yam. This is $24,000, this property. We can afford this. I can afford it alone. And I'll work quickly to fence it up. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We're right on the road. Those people across the street know what they're doing. You put your fence up because your treasure is what's inside. And that's going to be my church. Uh, I'm all excited. Who knows? Maybe Cheryl will go for it. Um... Uh, We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. I need to be able to pray. Pray. Walk grace in the Holy Ghost. In music. In color. Without having shit. Intrigued to the point they snoop. Leave us the fuck alone. Because God is never going to hear you. As long as you walk your bullshit in harm, God will never hear you. I don't care if you're rich or poor. If you are evil, baby, if you are bad, do I speak sinful? If you are bad, to the very last side, you're bad will be your reward. I am not better than you. You made me better than you. 
You made me better than you. That they call me holy and blessed is because you made me that way. You handed me the grace of undefined joy in peace of my God. For if I had not walked your burdens in blessings, thank you, J.D. Bishop J. If I had not walked your miseries in miracles, I would not be as blessed as I am this day. And what is to come, I can't even share because I don't know the words. I know my place will exude, exude holiness, grace, prayers. But as you have barred your soul from God, I bar, I retreat, you are no longer welcome in the presence of God. Very soon I will never enter Westport again. And I will live four miles from it. Never. For you tried to steal my humanity. You fucked my husband. Your children are atrocious. Your government is malignant in corruption. Your cults are a disgrace to the shield. Your religion Lacks clarity of the slaughtered lamb. Allow me to um, upload this. I have prophecy to share, Bible prophecy. I can't read it. <laughs> God dang it. First, I couldn't read it because y'all wouldn't give me my insulin. Then you gave me my insulin and my eyesight got so good, my glasses are no good. Now I'm running out of insulin. Yet you call yourself a God. President Trump has a hard road ahead because children Children of Portland State University, like any university, are the enemy of our God and our country. For they give donations to Hamas as homelessness is pandemic in the sodomite city of Portland, Oregon. You are an abomination. You have taught your children the fine art of the flesh, theft, lying. Women, you must be proud. You must be proud. Women before God. Before tree tax, your buckets of baby parts that you have mutilated to accommodate the need of a woman without conscience, without morals, without God. In grace be blessed. Amen. Amen. Uh, no, it's too early for wonderful to be coming. Uh, in grace be blessed.
Pray for us and we pray for you. These sons of bitches continue. I guess the board. William Wideman, black manager of Washington Crab Producers on 200 East Dock Street, is guilty of elder abuse, is guilty of federal violations and yet they still can't stop harassing wonderful suffice I leave the recorder on I record everything he says cause los putos you know Oh, God, see, I'm going to harm her. In grace of God, be blessed. Amen. Amen.